All right, it's now time for Interactive. You can follow us on X, which we said is formerly known as Twitter, at Sportsmax Zone. For Instagram and YouTube, our handle is Sportsmax TV Live. Watch, like, comment and share, and we'll react to your questions and comments during the show. Well, let's take some responses to Monday's segment discussing the stunning victory for West Indies women over Australia women in the second T20 International at the North Sydney Oval. So we're heading across to YouTube. Let's see what they had to say. Philip Beckford, I was pleasantly surprised our girls chased down the total and done it so efficiently. Haley is a great player and she will smash records. She's so fun to watch both with bat and ball. A truly magnificent leader and it's also good to see Taylor still smashing it. But that partnership between the captain and former captain was so sumptuous and good to see. They were in top form and I love to see this continue. A great run chase and win for us. Vincent woke up and was shocked. This is the most iconic moment for women cricket in the Caribbean. Groju, I am still in shock. Wow, well done, Haley. Trace Walter, top class innings by Haley. Marie says, very impressed with Cooper, her insight. Do we have more? No? All right, team. So uh, Maurice just saying he enjoyed uh, Brittany yeah. Cooper's insight on the show. I know you enjoyed and you're a yeah. tough um, nut to crack. <laughs> so when I heard him in the meeting today saying he enjoyed Brittany Cooper's segment, yeah. I know she tunes in every day. So top stuff, Brittany. Maybe you can be a regular. <laughs> yeah, thoroughly enjoyed her insight. Completely agree with that. Um, I, was, I was impressed with what she brought to the table in our discussion yesterday. So that was really good. Um, Someone said most iconic moment in West Indies women's history. Uh, are we already forgetting 2016? Um, it was a Sunday and we won the World T20. I would like to think that's the most iconic moment in our women's cricket history. Mm. Not everybody remembers things like you, okay? Yeah. Well, Get you know, over there, it. There's always been a You don't forget iconic moments, Mariah. Yeah, but there's been a <laughs> debate sometimes and maybe we could throw this one in because there are people who feel that world records are more important than Olympic gold medals. True. Lance, and and, and Haley Matthews hit the run chase was a world record. Lance? I'm just throwing it out there. He was there winning the World I Cup. I agree that the most <laughs> iconic moment in women's cricket for the West Indies was the 2016. Okay. But I'm just saying some people see things differently. Mm. Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing, right? And, and maybe there are times when you can have an argument about a world record being better than a gold medal um, in this case when that gold medal is beating the very best in the world yes. when West Indies won the world t20 in um, 2016 they beat Australia in the final and yeah. New Zealand in the semi and New I think. Zealand yeah. in the semi and at that time one. New Zealand was comfortably the number two, two team yeah. in the world Australia the number one team and massive favorites to win that yeah. title so when you turn over teams like that yeah. in a championship setting when the pressure is on when they are fully focused on winning yes this is a world record but in a team sport Lance and Mariah you could make the argument that you know Australia they are bringing in some fresh faces they are trying different things and anything can happen in situations like that but when you get to tournament cricket or whatever the sport is yeah man when you can win there that means something special agree yeah. all yeah. right I have to agree with you there for once all right for once. <laughs> we promised that's not good on you Mariah if it's for once well, I, that's not looking good for you. <laughs> not looking good for you. Well, we promised to find Sharika Jackson's stunning sprint relay anchor leg for Vair Technical. And of course, we made the promise. Well, Lance made the promise and he was able to keep it. Here is it. Herbert Morrison far behind. Great second leg by the Angels and by Eden Allen. Eden Allen storming. They're the fastest qualifiers. The Angels storm the third leg. It's the Angels coming past Eden on the third leg. It's the Flying Angels from Canada. Nice change there, slow change by Eden Allen. Herbert Morrison third, with Sadatha Palman far behind. Here comes Shrika Jackson of Vertec. She's gone into second, she's still coming. Angels lead, Vertec fly forward with Sharika Jackson. On the line, Vertec with Sharika Jackson. Well, what a woman, Sharika Jackson. <laughs> That's all I have to say. That was 2012, was it? Yeah, that was 2012. Wow. And Flying Angels, the leading track and field club in Canada, yes. certainly 
in the Toronto region um, came to the Gibson McCook Relays. They have been to the Gibson McCook Relays on a few occasions. They haven't been in a while, but um, I know Coach Letford and Coach Justice over there in Canada. Yeah. We want to see you back at the Gibson McCook Relays yeah. and uh, maybe you can hang on for the victory yeah. the next time you yeah. come. Well, that, that, that resurfaced because of Nigel. Who, who Nigel Lambert. In, Nigel Lambert, who sent in the contribution to the interactive segment that yes. he remember seeing her uh, run a spectacular anchor leg um, well he said champs but it was the Gibson relay so we decided that we would you know um, do the the retro and, and bring uh, it back fans, yeah give the fans a, a look at Sherika as a teenager at Veer. You know, I like that. That could be a segment where we reel back uh, <laughs> moments in time and just bring it back on the show. Yeah. I was going to say Lance has started something that I'm not sure he wants to start because now you're going to get a number of requests for some great ankle legs that at Champs find. and at the Gibson McCook Relays. <laughs> and now you're sending our producers deep into the archives. Um, just remember, we just moved, so we probably... <laughs> We need to find this footage. <laughs> All right, we're going so that, to was, that was splendid, though. She was like, um, she was like motoring, like she had an engine. It was, it was definitely one of the great legs at the high school level in Jamaica. I've heard about um, Aileen Bailey on anchor at Champs in Class One in the late 1990s. I have never seen it myself, yes. but I've heard so many great things about that anchor leg run from Aileen Bailey for Veer Technical as well mm. at Champs, but definitely one of the great four by one legs at the high school level in Jamaica. I've seen some yeah. super four by four and four by eight legs, especially in my time from Natoya Ghoul Lance. Oh yes. Or oh, Natoya Ghoul would literally pull back athletes 300 meters ahead of her <laughs> in a four by eight she was spectacular at the high school level yeah 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 i, I don't want to continue because if i continue this i'm not we, going we to know, stop we know, no, we but know. once you start him on track and field yeah, we know we know we know <laughs> <laughs> are we out of time all right oh well, we are wow yeah <laughs> well time goes when you're having fun viewers it's that point of the show where i wish you goodbye i thank you so much for tuning in and we'll be back tomorrow same time, same place. Have a beautiful evening.